Parkinson's disease, classified as a movement disorder, is a progressive disease that worsens over time. Levodopa is the gold standard medication for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. However, with time, its effect can become unpredictable, resulting in what we call off. The phenomenon of off greatly impacts the patient's quality of life. In this Neurology Live peer exchange discussion, I am joined by a panel of my colleagues, all experts in the field of Parkinson's disease. Together, we are going to discuss the impact of off on the patient and debate the best treatment options available, as well as provide practical perspectives on how to best treat this condition. I'm Dan Kremens, the co-director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Program and associate professor of neurology in the Department of Neurology at Sidney Kimmel Medical College at Jefferson University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Jill Giordano Farmer, an assistant professor and director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Program at Drexel Neuroscience Institute in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dr. Stuart Isaacson, the director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Center of Boca Raton in Boca Raton, Florida. And Dr. Peter LeWitt, the director of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorders Program at Henry Ford Hospital in West Bloomfield, Michigan, and professor of neurology at Wayne State University School of Medicine in Detroit, Michigan. And Dr. Rajesh Pawa, the Laverne and Joyce Ryder Professor of Neurology, the chief of the Parkinson's Disease and Movement Disorder Division, and the director of the Parkinson's Foundation Center of Excellence at the University of Kansas Medical Center in Kansas City, Kansas. Welcome. Thanks for joining us, and let's begin. So I think the first thing we'd like to talk about is, you know, a lot of us talk about this concept of off. We say it in front of our patients, we discuss it among each other, but I think there's a lot of lack of understanding about what off exactly means. So Peter, what do we mean when we talk about off in Parkinson's disease? Well, the first thing to emphasize is that it has a number of meanings. In clinical studies, it has a more precise meaning that gets drugs approved and allows us to talk about the drugs. But for the patient experience, off means a couple of things. It's reemergence of Parkinson's symptoms, tremors, slowness of movement, non-motor features as well. It also refers to their perception, our patients that is, the perception of whether medications are doing the maximum that they can. Most Parkinson symptoms, be it tremor, slowness of movement, difficulty with handwriting, voice not working right, all of these respond to some extent to medication and when they're not doing their peak improvement, that's what off might be or reemergence of symptoms. Now medication is so effective, especially levodopa, that patients uh, judge the off by what the medication is doing. And as physicians, I think we do the same thing. We know we have a fickle drug in levodopa, one that is not well absorbed. And the consequences of that inadequate absorption or clearance or delays of other sorts uh, have consequences for patients. So off time, in a sense, is failure of a very effective therapy, which becomes more and more of a burden to a patient as the years go by and which is a difference from way, the way levodopa works in the first two years, sometimes called the honeymoon period. You know, it's, it's interesting that even after decades of patients having off, we don't have a standard definition of off. We, we all use our words on what off is. Uh, I mean, the thing is, off is not a patient is on and a patient is off. Off is really a time period. And, and the bottom line is, you know, if my patients are not adequately controlled during the day, uh, that's when the patient's having off. And the off symptom could be, like Peter said, motor or non-motor symptoms. But to me, some of the people out there consider off only if there is a functional impairment. And to me, you don't have to have functional impairment for a patient to have off. So, Stu, I think uh, this notion of uh, off as a continuum between optimal control what OM could be, normal C, no Parkinsonian features, is an important concept because that abrupt change from on to off is probably a different phenomenon. The freezing of gait uh, may be non-dopaminergic uh, symptomatology, but it's something that the clinician has to differentiate to be effective at taking that information and translating it into a therapy, such as an on-demand therapy, a continuous therapy, maybe polypharmacy as well. And, and the thing is, some patients feel like they are missing something if, you know, they go to a support group or something and patients are talking about off. And really, they are fortunate they have not reached the point 
when they are having off periods. And, and I, to me, uh, that's part of the, the education. Uh, we have not quite provided to our patient that yes, you are on levodopa, you're gonna have this time period when, when you'll have a good global control and symptoms. And then you will come to a time that during the day, there'll be periods of time when your symptoms are not under optimal control. And that's what we need to cut back because that's when life can be difficult for them.